Hey there and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes I'll show you how to use the new mezzanine loan module in our apartment development model. Now this module was included in version 2.4 of the model so you're likely looking at a version that is this version or newer and to include a mezzanine tranche in your construction debt what we'll do is we'll head to the underwriting tab We'll scroll into the investment cash flow section either by clicking this investment button here or by just scrolling down until we hit the sources. And so within the sources, right, we have equity and we have construction debt. Now this is an apartment development model and so the construction debt together with equity make up our total sources and those sources must match our uses. However, over uh, the last year or so, I've gotten quite a few requests for uh, multiple tranches of construction debt. Uh, and, and so on top of a traditional construction loan, many people were asking for a mezzanine loan or, or a preferred equity that had more of a structure of, of mez debt. And so I've gone ahead and done that here. Now, uh, a few things to keep in mind about the mezzanine tranche uh, is that this is a mezzanine, a basic mez loan facility. Uh, the characteristics are that the mezzanine loan funds after the construction loan is fully funded, that it's interest only, and that any accrued interest on the mezzanine loan, meaning any interest that uh, cannot be paid by operating cash flow accrues to an interest reserve. And then three, the mezzanine loan is repaid in the same period or the payoff month of the construction loan. And so, if we want to add MES debt to the model, what you'll see is by default, the construction debt is made up of only a construction loan. And so I've added here this construction debt section where we have, again, two tranches of construction loan that funds first with some interest rate on an annual basis that can be either variable, you see that off to the right here, or fixed here. And then the percentage of the total sources that are construction loan, the amount of the construction loan here, as well as the amount per unit and the amount per square foot. Now, let's say that we want 10% of our total cost to be MES debt, 55% construction debt. What we do is we just come here to this blue font cell, loan to cost for the construction loan, we enter 55%. And automatically then, a construction loan, uh, I'm sorry, a mezzanine loan appears. Off to the right here, we see a funding for the construction loan versus the mezzanine loan. And you can follow that out to the right. You'll see the construction loan up top funds first. Once it has fully funded, the mezzanine loan begins to fund, and that mezzanine loan funds until the end of our uh, development period, or I should say until such point that we hit break even and there is sufficient operating cash flow to cover debt service. Now we can adjust the interest rate for the mezzanine loan here. Either it's a uh, fixed rate or we could do a variable rate. So let's imagine that it is fixed. We set this say to 7.5% and we'll see based on the uh, allocation of construction debt to construction loan versus mez. Uh, and the timing of the funding of these loans will get a blended annual interest rate for our construction debt. And here, in this case, 5.38%. And so that is the MES loan facility module added to our apartment development model. Let me know if you have any questions uh, on this one. Otherwise, thanks for your time.